everybody, this is Riri with Riri's How To, and today we're going to be making squiggle cupcakes. Now, I know they can't say hostess because that's taken, but basically they're hostess cupcakes that you can make yourself. And I'm really excited to, to, to try these out. Um, I saw them for on clearance, it says for $5.98 at Target, and I was like, why not? I'm going to be celebrating New Year's Eve with my cousins tonight, and I thought this would be a perfect um, dessert to bring. So let's get to it. This are, these are the things that you're going to need to create these cupcakes. Okay, so for the cupcake part, you're going to need the mix, and they are there's three mixes in the box, and they're clearly labeled. So we got the mix. Ooh, it's like a little chocolate cloud. And then you will need 3 fourth cup of milk. In this case, I'm using almond milk. You will need 2 thirds cup of oil. In this case, I'm just using olive oil. Last thing you'll need is an egg. All right, my mix is ready to go. And uh, what's nice about this kit is that it comes with the cupcake liners. So I'm just going to, they worked a little bit in the box, but that's okay. I'm just going to pour some in. And it's at about two thirds full because it will rise. And I'm just going to continue filling these in. Okay, I have all the cupcakes ready to go. And I'm just going to pop them in the oven at 350 degrees for about 17 or 18 minutes or until the toothpick comes out clean. So while the cupcakes are baking, we're going to go ahead and start making our filling. So we are going to use the filling pouch and pour that into a bowl. We're going to use half a stick of butter or margarine and we're going to cream those together. Slowly add a tablespoon of milk. In my case, I'm using almond milk. It comes with a piping bag. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start putting the filling. This will also form the squiggle too. I'm gonna put it inside of the... Oh look, it thickened really nicely. I filled in the piping bag and I'm just going to put this into the fridge while the cupcakes are still baking. Finally, for the glaze that is on the very top, you're going to need uh, two tablespoons of butter or margarine. You're going to need three tablespoons of milk. In my case, I'm using almond milk. And I'm going to add the mix. I have my cupcake ready to go and I poked a little hole in the center with a chopstick and then I have the filling. I'm just going to insert that in and just squeeze some of the frosting in. I'm just going to pour a little bit of the chocolate frosting on the top and just kind of swirl it around. It helps if the cupcake is warm so that it can melt, but not too hot that it'll just run right off. And then we get this back out again. Back at it again with the frosting. Okay, so we're just gonna, here we go. Okay, squiggle time. Oh man, I don't know about the squiggle. Okay, well, that's one squiggle. One squiggle! <laughs> Alright, everyone, I'm ready to do a taste test. I found out how to do the squiggle. It helps with the frosting a little bit warm. It was a little too cold from the fridge, so I just kind of like warmed it up a little bit and then it was easier to do the squiggle. So here's another, whoops, version of the squiggle. 
Alright, so I'm going to cut this open. So you could see some of the inside. See, there's the frosting in the middle. Here we go. That's a really good chocolate cupcake. Now, it doesn't taste like a hostess cupcake, but I don't even care because it tastes really good. But, I mean, this cupcake, it's good just with, I would say just even just the chocolate ganache on top. So, um, I'm not sure when I'm going to be able to, I, if I'll be able to post this tonight. So, um, I hope you all have a very safe New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. Uh, make sure to eat some ramen and wear red for good luck. And I hope you have a safe, safe holiday. Bye, everybody. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe.